In this video, I will show you how we can generate caption for a given image. And for that, we are using Azure Cognitive Services Computer Vision. So let me jump on to Azure Portal. So this is my Azure Portal and here you need to search for Computer Vision. Click on that. And you need to click on Create in order to create a new instance of Computer Vision. So it will ask you for a few values. Here you need to select your current subscription. Then you need to select resource group. If you don't have any, then you can create one. You need to select the region which is very closest to you. Then you need to provide the unique name of your instance. Here you need to select the pricing tier and then you can go through this AI notice and check this checkbox if you agree. And click on review and create once you click on review and create it will create an instance of azure cognitive services which will look like this so you will get keys and the endpoints generated over here so this is one thing which we need and second thing we need is the code so for coding i am using jupyter and the language we are going to use is python so the very first thing we need to do is we need to import the required modules and once these modules are imported so if you're doing it for the first time then these modules may not be available in your machine so what you can do you can run a pip with this command so pip install azure cognitive services vision computer vision so after doing this you will be able to use these two modules okay next thing is we need to import os because we are going to open an image file. Let's create few of the key variables which will be holding values for us. So we need key and the endpoint. So key we can grab it from our Azure portal. I'm sorry. Okay, so for key we can go to Azure portal and we can copy any one of these. So I will go with this one. and paste it here similarly for endpoint i will go here and grab this last entry so these are the two things which we need in order to create the client object okay next we need a image path so from where we want to analyze the image so you can even go for URL or if not, you can go with the file which is present on your machine like the way I am doing over here. Okay, next thing is we need to create the credentials object. So for that, cognitive services, credentials is the class. And herein you need to pass the key which you grabbed it. Using this, we can go ahead and create our client object. So, and inside this, we need to pass endpoint with, sorry. We need to pass endpoint, which we just created. And then credentials, which is cred, which we just created above. Okay. Once these things are done, we are ready with our client object. Let's go ahead and open a file, image file. So for that, I need to provide image path and mode would be, I would say, read in binary mode. And let's give it a name as IMG. And then what we can do is we can create a variable and which will store the caption of our the details of the caption so here we have a method describe image in stream and which will take img as a parameter so if you are doing it in a vs code you will get extensions and everything but when you are doing in jupyter it's sometimes it is quite difficult when the method names are quite long so this is how we will call the function describe image in stream and next thing is just to go ahead and print 
results so result dot captions at the zero entry and the text okay and before that i want to show you the image that what image i'm taking so for that we need to import another module that is display and here i would say import image okay these are the imports this is thing and let me go ahead and print here image and see if it displays my file or not image path and there you can provide width if you want let's say 120 and height we can say 120 it's okay let's go ahead and run this so you can see that this is the image which i have taken and the caption which it is it has given me is a woman with red hair so this is how you can provide an image and just figure it out what is the best caption we can get so i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching